everybody. It is April 20th. That is bee pickup day. We are going to pick up our bee package and first thing first we need to get some bee food ready for them. Now when I say bee food, no we're not feeding them honey. We are going to mix together some water and some sugar, boil it together in this pot and then let it sit to room temperature and that gives you feed for your bees. Um, it's going to be a one to one ratio of sugar and water. So we're just going to make one bag of sugar which is four pounds. So that ended up being nine cups of sugar to nine cups of water. So I'm just going to throw in this pot and get it boiled. I got the water and the sugar in the pot. I'm just going to heat it on medium heat, stir occasionally, and wait for the sugar to dissolve. That's it. And when we're waiting for that, these two jars right here are two quart size jars. It's better if you use wide mouth. I don't have any wide mouth at the moment, so I'm just going to use what we have. Um, this is what the bee food is going to go into. So I need to take the lids and poke some holes in it. You can use a drill, you can use a nail. I've also found that a little thumbtack works as well. So you're just going to poke some holes in the top, um, about 20 holes in each top, and that's what, when you flip it upside down, that's how the bees are going to come eat from it. So you just want them to look something like that. Alright, so all the water and sugar are dissolved when in each other. Kind of looks like cloudy water. So I'm going to turn the stove off and just put this off to the side and let it cool down. Now let's go get some bees. you guys a better picture when we get home. They're hanging out in the back with Finn. So we just got home. We can't uh, we can't install the package in court until uh, you know little Finn man goes to bed. We don't have a suit small enough for him yet but we'll definitely have to get one of those. What do I think? This is a heavy box. How many pounds is it? Well, we bought three. Three pounds. We bought three pounds, but it feels more like five. How many bees is three pounds? 10,000 bees. Oh, yeah. So, look at that. The queen is somewhere in the middle, and they're all hanging on each other to be close to the queen. Kind of crazy. All right, we are getting ready to put this bee package in the beehive. I filled these mason jars up with the sugar water, threw the lids on so those are ready to go. What are you smiling at? Steve's in his cute bee outfit. Yeah, this is hot. Yeah. Put this little screen on my oh. face. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. I feel safe now. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to do this. So this is where our hives are. They literally have the best seat in the house slash yard. They are pointing southeast, the entrances, and the spot gets a lot of sun, sheltered from some wind, and they have a lot of room, and they have a lot of water right down there with the stream. And we're pretty close to our garden, but not close enough that we will be in their way. Okay, this is how we're going to do it. There's two, there's a couple ways you can put the bees into the hive. A lot of people, if you want a good time, you take this off and you shake them into the hive. But because we don't have any drawn out comb yet, we're going to do it a different way that my bee teacher taught me how to do. These are called feeding sticks. To you, they probably just look like two pieces of wood. That's pretty much what they are. What you're going to do place these two pieces of wood 
on two frames like so and you're gonna take the sugar water that you made and flip them on top of the two sticks So that's what's going to feed your bees until they can find enough food for themselves. Next what you want to do is crack the top, <laughs> crack the top off of the box. You nervous? No, not nervous. I am. <laughs> There's tens of thousands of bees in there. And then what you want to do is I'm going to slam this box down, pull out the feeder can and the queen, and then put this piece of wood on quickly. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to go one, two, three. Oh, geez, out. That's the queen. Uh -uh. can so that's all right so she's at the bottom so all you're going to want to do is give it one more shake and then I'm going to go in and grab her Crazy having beast many bees fly around your head right now. Yeah. A little nervous. Okay. So the queen is in this little box. This is called the queen cage. On one end there's a wooden cork and on one end there's a candy cork. If you were to shake your bees in, you'd want to take the candy cork out so the other bees can release the queen from the cage, but because like I said, we don't have any drawn out comb yet. We're gonna put her, I'm gonna gently take these bees off. And we wanna inspect her to make sure she looks all right. We got a marked queen. She has a blue dot on her. So I'm gonna put her just like that so they come over and they can find the food and we're going to leave her in there uncapped for five to seven days so they can start drawing out comb because you want her to have a job when she comes out or they'll try and replace her she'll they'll kill her so what we're going to do with the rest of these guys is i'm going to take this wood piece off and I'm going to put this on, the box on sideways, so they have to walk across the frames to get to her. And once they start walking over to her, they're going to get the taste of the food and then go down. So they'll start building comb. We're going to come and check this tomorrow afternoon to make sure all the bees are out. If not all the bees are out, then we're going to go to the shake method. There's going to be some bees flying around us for a little bit, so all I'm going to do is take this medium frame, and it should stick right on top, like so. And 
then you're going to close your cover. Stick that right on top. And then we're going to ratchet it down to make sure nothing bothers them. These that are over here, they'll find their way in because the queen has a special pheromone that they're trying to come to. Check back on this tomorrow and see how the bees are doing. Didn't go as according to plan, but that's how it goes for us. Because we're slightly off course and everything. <laughs> Little bumble butts. All right, so we are back out at the hive and it's actually a couple days after we installed the high the box because it was re we got like a huge freak storm but um good news is is that there are bees flying around so that is the good news so i need to take this covering off and crack this baby open and check on them and i will show you what we're going to do from there all right let's see what we have All right, this is a good sign. They still have some sugar water, and as you can see, they're all over that. And most of the bees are out of the bee package. What I'm going to do is just set this bee package right next to the hive because it's nice out today, and they'll make their way over to this box. So the next thing I'm going to do is check on the queen. Make sure she's doing all right. Yep, she's still, you guys can't really see her, but she's still moving around in there well. So I'm going to put her right back in there. Kind of made him mad now, but it's good to see that everybody is doing well. So the way I'm going to keep this set up is I'm going to keep the two feeders in there with her in the middle. Uh, we have another day or two before we take the candy cork off her end so they can release her. We want them to start building a little bit of this out. The rest of these bees that are on the bee package will saunter their way over to the beehive by the end of tonight and we'll just go from there everything's looking good got bees flying around me which is good next big step is we're going to be taking the queen out of the cage and she's going to start laying some eggs what day is today today is take the cork out of the queen day these guys are a lot more active today than they were the other day sugar water is gone. Luckily I brought some more. So the queen is still looking good. She's moving around in there. She's already started to eat so this white here is the candy that they're gonna eat. So what we need to do now is take these feeders off sticks off. slide these five to the middle. So you can see 
everyone is very busy at work trying to get this all ready for the queen. After we have that, we need to grab the inner cover. So change of plans, she's already out, so she's in there, now she's going to start laying eggs. So all I'm going to do is set up the feeder sticks on top of this, and put the food back on top, and let them be. Ah! Get it, get it, let them be. So I'm going to refill these feeder jars, get everything all set, and close this back up. No. <laughs> yeah, she's in there. See how they're flapping their butt to the outside? If they were flapping inside, that would mean that she's not in there. So this is just to cover the sugar water while we're supplement feeding them. Can you strap it down? Yeah. Gonna strap this down. little bee bum is shaking to the outside which means that the queen is inside so that's good that's a drone right there see the big one so all right that's it for today the queen is successfully in her hive now she's going to start laying some babies come out tonight and clean up this stuff once the bees are off of it and that's it we did it did it not the right way, but we did it.